In the Old South, the pineapple was a symbol of welcoming and hospitality. If you saw a pineapple on the gate of a big farm, you knew you'd be welcome. It was a design motif in many big southern homes as well. Here's a photograph I shot in St. Augustine neighborhood many years ago that also has a pineapple. But we're not in St. Augustine for this video. In fact, we're photographing old buildings, ironwork, and antique wall ads in the historic districts of Lynchburg, Virginia. Lynchburg was a pleasant surprise for me. I booked a stay in the city because I wanted to shoot the ghost town at Pamplin about a half an hour away. I made a separate video about Pamplin, and if you haven't seen that, be sure you check it out because it's really a cool old ghost town. Lynchburg was a natural place to sleep on my agenda, but I'm glad I decided to check it out because it's a vibrant, beautiful city. It's lousy with renovated old mills and preserved vintage wall ads. In fact, it's almost too cleaned up for my taste. But walking around the city was very pleasant, with lots of visual treats to discover. And unlike some places I visit, I never felt unsafe. Locals were friendly and welcoming, hence the pineapple motif graffiti, I suppose. I don't know much history of the place, so I'll just comment along the way as I feel necessary. Here I was testing a new gadget, the Canon 2X extender with a 7200 millimeter lens. I also made a separate video about that experience if you want to know more. I was focused on the gorgeous architectural details on that old office building circa 1892. You can see all the black and white photos I shot at the end of this video. If you're in a hurry, you can zoom on back to about 14 minutes and 10 seconds to see those now. Just a few doors down is this amazing old building. I don't know. How much of this is authentic, but it's cool as hell. Unfortunately, I was here before business hours and they were probably closed for quarantine anyways. Would have loved to have gone in to see what they had. I included this clip because I love the bells and it also shows that we're working our way uphill. Lynchburg is on a hill overlooking a river valley. The point of walking over here was to admire this amazing old Art Deco architecture. Just stunning.
Okay, my point earlier about walking up the hill, this is something I've never seen before. An outdoor elevator that takes you to the top of the hill. I'm not joking. I tried to use it, but I didn't notice it doesn't operate on weekends. Need to go uphill on weekends? You're just going to have to walk, I'm afraid. Which brings us to another Lynchburg oddity. This weird staircase with a strange cobblestone slough next to it. I'll bet in a rainstorm this becomes a raging torrent downhill. First we'll look at this old building because I'm easily distracted. LNDF stands for the Lynchburg Neighborhood Development Foundation. Now back to this weird staircase. It all slopes downhill. Even the quote unquote level parts are sloping. Believe it or not, this is a street next to me here. 10th Street, it was once used for carts, but it's great, it's 22 degrees and it's been decided that it's too steep for cars. There's that elevator and there's the back of the LNDF. Just feast your eyes on this gorgeous old beauty, wow.
Our next stop on this magical history tour is this massive red brick church. As you may have noticed already, I have a thing for old ironwork. And finally, our last stop, look at the detail in this old building, the patina and the cobwebs. It's an apartment building. A couple stepped out while I was shooting it and said they lived in the building for 25 years. My mind was boggled. I've never lived anywhere for anything close to that length of time. I asked if it was cool on the inside as on the outside and they said, ah, you know, it's old. <laughs> Back in the day, they used plumbing fixtures for handrails. Okay, I lied. One more stop to examine this huge painted wall sign up close. And that's it for our walking tour of Lynchburg, Virginia, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to visit my website, keithdotson.com.